Welcome to The Daily Fix. I'm Stella Chung in for Sydney Goodman, and in this episode, Microsoft addresses the future of Xbox Live Gold, we get our first peek at Amazon's Invincible animated series, and Captain Marvel 2 has found a director. Let's get to it! If you didn't notice, you can't purchase 12-month Xbox Live Gold subscription passes anymore. Microsoft quietly discontinued that last month, much to the annoyance of gamers who just want to re-up every year and forget about it. On top of that, 343 Industries confirmed that Halo Infinite's multiplayer will feature a free-to-play suite. That's right, you won't even need an Xbox Live subscription to play with your buddies, but this free-to-play suite might not include all multiplayer features available in the game. So we're losing 12-month subscriptions to Xbox Live Gold, and possibly the biggest selling feature of one of the biggest games of the year won't even need the paid online service? Could Microsoft be slowly phasing out Xbox Live Gold? Not so fast, says Microsoft. In a statement to The Verge, the company confirmed that Xbox Live Gold isn't going anywhere. The company says, quote, there are no changes being made to the experience of the service or Xbox Live Gold. So where does that leave us? You can still subscribe to Xbox Live Gold with all of its existing features and free monthly games, but only on a month-to-month -month or three-month basis. Or you can sign up for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for 12 months, and that comes with Xbox Live Gold included. It could be that Microsoft is very slowly pushing aside Xbox Live Gold as a standalone service in favor of Game Pass, which honestly is a really great deal. Or it could be that most Xbox gamers aren't re-upping their Gold subscription for 12 months and are perfectly happy going month to month. So Microsoft is just getting rid of a lesser used tier. What do you think? How often do you re-up your Gold service? And would you be willing to pay a little bit more to get the benefits of Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass? Let us know in the comments. Amazon has given us our first look at their upcoming animated series based on Image Comics' Invincible. And surprise, surprise, it looks a lot like the comic. And that's because Invincible's co-creator and original artist, Cray Walker, is the show's lead character designer. Check out these images in comparison to the comics. See, pretty close, and that's really not a bad thing. The comics' art looks great, why change it? Invincible's other co-creator and writer Robert Kirkman of Walking Dead fame is also involved, serving as executive producer and writing the show's pilot and season finale. And speaking of The Walking Dead, former Walking Dead TV series cast member Steven Yeun is joining the voice talent of Invincible, along with J.K. Simmons, Seth Rogen, Zazzy Beats, and Mark Hamill. We don't have an exact debut date for Invincible, but it is coming to Amazon Prime Video, eventually. And jumping from one comic book property to another, Marvel Studios has reportedly signed a director to helm Captain Marvel 2. It's looking like the sequel will be directed by Nia DaCosta. If that name doesn't ring a bell, it's because she's only released one movie, the indie hit Little Woods starring Tessa Thompson, which earned rave reviews when it debuted at Sundance last year. DaCosta's next film is the update to the 90s horror cult classic Candyman. The 2020 version is written and produced by Jordan Peele and is slated to arrive in theaters this October. If this is true, it continues Marvel Studios' trend of hiring indie or lesser-known directors to helm their projects. Marvel 1 was directed by the filmmaking duo of Ryan Fleck and Anna Bowden, known for indie films like Half Nelson, it's kind of a funny story, and TV series like Room 104, Billions, and The Affair. And Marvel has found success with this formula. The first Captain Marvel raked in over a billion dollars in theaters, and there's the obvious success story of Taika Waititi, who did Thor Ragnarok, and the Rooster Brothers, who, before landing Captain America Civil War, cut their teeth on sitcoms like Arrested Development and Up All Night. And that's your Daily Fix for Thursday, August 6th. Now that you're all caught up, check out our review for Fall Guys, which actually is free for PlayStation Plus subscribers this month. It's a lot of fun, so go download it. And also, speaking of downloads, download our IGN app for all of your devices, subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for more entertainment and gaming news, keep it here at IGN.